What's going on, guys? Honky Kong here. Welcome back. Um, I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, but I always ramble like a motherfucker. So please forgive me ahead of time. Um, I want to do a video today on one of my favorite topics. Something I've hit many times over the years is the Keystone Cops, and two videos jumped out at me from. I just watched both of them yesterday, and uh, both both cases. Uh, you know, one of them unfortunately had tragic consequences. The other one was just a cop being a cop, okay? So the first one I'm going to hit happened in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. 43-year-old gentleman named Casey Cresson was on his way being driven, I believe, by his girlfriend to the hospital, to the emergency room. He was suffering a very serious asthma attack, okay? Of course, one of Chippewa Falls PD, standard issue street soldier, fucking whips him behind him, pulls him over, okay? Now, the girlfriend made a huge mistake by pulling over. If it's me, personally, and I'm on my way to a hospital, if my wife or my child or somebody that I care about and love is having a medical emergency and a cop whips behind me, I'm not pulling over. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to call 911, let them know what's going on, tell their motherfucker to either back the fuck off or get in front of me and let me follow them, you know, plow me away to the hospital, okay? But 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 she pulls over and you know she's hysterical. I don't want to go too hard on her, but I will say it was a huge mistake for her to pull over. So she pulls over, jumps out, the guy gets out, you know, and, and the cops like, "What's going on?" or whatever. And, the, and she explains, "Hey, he's having a very serious asthma attack. She's hysterical. She's bawling. She's crying. She's freaking the fuck out." Um, the cop and what, what do you think the cop does? Instead of saying, "All right, well, jump in the car, let's go," or better yet, more importantly, throwing the dude at this point. Throwing now, mind you, they're only three miles from the hospital. Okay, three fucking miles from the hospital, a couple minutes away. Instead of throwing the dude in the back, like he would have did for one of his fellow fucking cops if they were hurt, or one of his family members if they were laying on the ground with fucking asthma attack, and throwing him in the back and driving him himself. No, no, he calls for EMS. So what do you think happens in the meantime? Now they were just a couple minutes away from the hospital. Nine minutes pass by the time he pulled him over and EMS gets there. The guy dies. The guy fucking dies. Now, the whole time, um, and as you guys, if you guys watch the video, I will like it. The girlfriend is hysterically begging this stupid fucking pig, this dumb fucking idiot cop. She's saying, "Let's get to the, let's get to the hospital. Can we please go? Can we please, can we please go?" And this guy's dying. The cop's like, "No, no, though." I called EMS. Then he walks over to the guy in like a robot voice. Motherfucker sounds like the Terminator. He's like, "You'll be okay. You'll be okay, Casey. Can you hear me? You'll be all right." Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. You know you don't care. And of course, the, after the guy dies. Guys. They fucking do an interview with the fucking King Carpet Muncher, this fucking bulldike fucking savant police chief of fucking uh, Chippewa fucking Falls, whatever whatever this fucking town's called. She does the fucking uh, an interview with this bitch, and, and they ask her, you know what, well, why didn't they help or whatever. She's like, well, you know, it, everybody was already out of the car, so if they were in the car, he could have, you know, just they, they, they could have followed him to the hospital, talking about the stupid fucking cop who let the guy die. And, you know, but nobody ever asked this bitch, like, hey, fucking twat, why didn't he throw him in the back of his? cruiser hell they'd fucking do that shit in detroit all the time now nah, it's because we don't have motherfucking ambulances here pretty much but they do that shit here all the time but this cop was too fucking lazy he didn't want to drive three miles with somebody sick in the back of his vehicle and um it cost this guy his life so so absolutely absolutely fucking disgusting keystone cop behavior to the fullest this guy this guy um delayed medical treatment and the dude died and he probably i'm quite certain he won't have any consequences suffer because of, more than likely they'll give him a fucking medal for calling ems or some shit you know really really disgusting disgusting um so so to this this fucking cop that delayed that medical treatment i hope next time you're out there scratching a ticket doing what you fucking suburban pigs do best i hope a fucking car comes by swipes you catches your fucking clothes in the fucking door handle and you get drug about 150 feet and skinned alive you fucking piece of shit fuck you and fuck the uh carpet munching savant fucking police chief for having your back when she should be hanging you the fuck out to dry like you deserve you piece of fucking shit uh moving on next one this one fortunately did not have tragic consequences this one happened in um South Carolina, okay? Uh, Sam Montgomery, who's a defensive lineman for the Bengals. I think he plays DN. I can't remember. He plays college ball. I remember him in college at LSU. And uh, he was on his way home, going, going to his hometown for the weekend or whatever, and he was he was he was speeding, okay? He was driving 89 and 55. That, that, you know, that's 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 driving like a dick. Okay, I get it. But in South Carolina, when you're doing 25 or some shit, they can arrest you. So, of course, fucking brown shirt Nazi whips in behind him, fucking lights him up, immediately places him under arrest for speeding. Like, th that's fucking stupid. If you're driving reckless and, and swerving in and out of traffic, I can see putting somebody under arrest. But if you're just straight line going and, and you're speeding and a cop wants to arrest you, that's fucking trash. Anyways, the cop fucking pulls him over, gets him out, and then and then this is where the, the stop goes wrong, okay? The cop starts barking fucking commands to this guy. Um, put, do this to your legs. Cross your legs. Open your legs up. Move 
back. Put your hands here. Put your. It sounds like they're playing the motherfucking hokey pokey or Simon Says or some shit like that. I mean, this cop is just just running orders them. You guys gotta watch the video. It's fucking hysterical. So so Sam Montgomery is trying to the best of his ability to do everything he can to you know follow the cops' instructions, but it's not good enough. The cops, you know, he's like, oh, move your hands here. Put your palms up. Spread your spread your legs out. Move move your legs together. Put your arms up. I mean, it, honestly, it's fucking crazy. Nobody could follow along with the shit this cop's saying. So the cop at this point gets angry because he's not following his ridiculous fucking ambiguous instructions. The cop says, oh, I'm going to tase you if you don't comply. And Sam Montgomery's like, oh, sir, I'm not trying to cause a problem. I'm trying to comply. And that, when he said that shit, that really made me think. You know, it really just jumped into my head immediately. How many people over the year have been tased, beat down, shot, fucked up, and killed by cops because they weren't complying? Um, very, 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 you know, you, you, when you're in a traffic stop situation, you're already extremely frightened whenever you have an account of cops, as well you should be, because they can murder you, this is America, they can gun you the fuck down, and they will walk, here in fucking tea, you think I'm lying, name me six officers fucking uh, busted for murder in the line of duty, it does not happen, okay, shit, the Oakland Bark cop got like nine months, and he shot a dude on back, you know, in the back on tape. That we just we don't convict them of murder in America, okay? We don't. We just, it just doesn't happen. They they walk every time. I'll get into that in a minute though. But anyways, so after he threatens to tase him, he gets Montgomery in cuffs, and then he actually speaks to him. Really, he never really was out of line with the way he talked to him. His just his the way he was issuing instructions was completely fucking bogus, and, and he couldn't follow along. But the cop, this cop, actually was, was. It seemed to me very respectful. Spoke to him really nice. Even told him, "Hey, you know, I gotta take you to jail, but if you go to traffic court, I'll show up and I'll have your back. You know, we'll get the tickets." What what the fuck he was saying? He was actually being very nice. Interestingly enough, this cop lost his job. He was fired. So big props to South Carolina uh, state troopers, whatever, for policing your own and. And firing the guy, you know, I, I'll be totally honest with you. I don't even know if he deserved to be fired. I can't stand Keystone cops. This guy might have, um, this guy might have just benefited from some training. I don't know if he need to lose his job. Now the motherfucker in, in, in Chippewa Falls probably won't lose his job. I, they haven't even, you know, announced anything like that. I doubt, I doubt he'll have any disciplinary action. And uh, they fired this guy in South Carolina because he threatens to taste somebody. So, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not super bummed, but I think if something deserves to get fired out of these two videos, it's definitely that motherfucker from Wisconsin that played a role in, in getting this guy killed, okay? Um, putting those two, done with those two, and I just want to say, um, you know, why is it in America we can't prosecute cops? Too, there's too close of a working relationship between the district attorney and the police department. District attorney is an elected position. The district attorney, whenever they run, they always need their local PD's endorsement. That's a lot of fucking votes for them, okay? And um, if they don't have that, they know they probably don't have a chance to win re-election to their district attorney position, okay? So, so they're, they're not ever wanting to make any waves and lock up any of their officers and not get that endorsement by the local PD, okay? So so that's, that's definitely, definitely a problem. Something has to be done about that we gotta i mean it, it district attorney should be elected but maybe other district attorneys or, or other legal bodies should handle prosecution of a district attorney's um police force because of a conflict of interest all right so that's pretty much all i got you know look um i go hard on the keystone cops i talk about them a lot i know there's good cops out there we've seen the video from the cops in lowell michigan out there passing out um christmas present shit that's awesome i wish we see more of that i love when i see videos of cops stop and play with little kids like the cop that jumped out black dude was playing catch with the kid with football that shit is awesome i wish we'd see more of that but unfortunately for every one of those we see we see 20 bad ones of cops fucking up and in america right now it's a very dangerous time you got the citizenry and the cops going head to head i mean and it's you know it's gonna it's gonna erupt into massive violence and that's what i'm really worried about so the cops need to back the fuck off start cutting people some breaks because you see in these protests people and, and these protests are animals i get that but people are just so fucking angry at cops there's so much build up inside and they're just they're just fucking raging on them it, it, it's it's crazy and it's scary right now we need we need to police um the good police need to police the bad police okay if, you, if you're a good cop and you know you got one of these these asshole fucking cops in your in your fucking uh in your organization you need to catch them in the locker room put the motherfucking nightstick upside and said get tell them to get the fucking line or get on you know get to stepping okay uh, so that's all i got on the keystone cops quick fyi if you're one of these people to go to 7-eleven and you buy like 20 scratch off lottery tickets and you slide over a foot you know what i'm saying to start scratching off your tickets you uh do me a favor go drink like a couple liters of gasoline and eat a fucking match because you're a piece of shit you made me fucking sick that's all i got you guys be safe i'm gonna catch you next time peace